In this video, you'll learn how to use the formula for the area of a kite or rhombus. So here we have a rhombus and a kite. A rhombus is just a quadrilateral that has four sides that all have the same length as each other. And you'll see something like this showing you that those four sides have the same length, or you might have a number on each side that shows you that they're all the same length. A kite is a quadrilateral that has two sides that have the same length and two other sides that have the same length as each other but not necessarily the same length as the other two sides that have already been marked. So here you can see this kite has these side lengths equal and these side lengths that are equal to each other but this is clearly a lot shorter than this side length as is these, this one compared to that one. Okay and it looks like a kite that you would fly in the sky. So two pairs of sides and each pair is equal in length to its partner. The formula for the area of these shapes is quite simple. It's just area being half of one diagonal multiplied by the other diagonal. And we call them D1 and D2. So our first example shows us that we've got look what looks like a rhombus because all sides look equal length. You could even check that with a ruler. But we're being told that line EG, which is this one here, is 8 centimetres. I'm going to write that on, 8 centimetres. And line FH, which is this one along here, is 6 centimetres. And I'm going to write it here, it's a little bit, a little bit messy in here. Uh, but basically we've got one diagonal and the other diagonal. So let's write our formula. Area equals a half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 which is going to be half times 8 times 6. Now a half of 8 is 4 and 4 times 6 is 24. So our final area is 24, we're in centimetres but we've now looked at two dimensions so squared. This is our second example and we're being shown AC from here to here is 42 centimetres and BD from here to here is 500 millimeters. Now notice these are not the same units. So let's change this one to being in centimeters and that's going to be 50 centimeters. So let's write our formula. And now we've got half times 42 times 50. This will give us 1050. We worked in centimeters and we've now looked at two dimensions, centimetres squared. Here's our third example and you can see we've been given three sets of measurements, BC, CD and AD. So what do we want? Let's have a look. We want AD, so we definitely want this one, and CB. Now CB isn't listed but BC is and that is the exact same distance because it's just showing you from here to here which is the same distance as from here to here. So we definitely do want BC. What's this other distance that you've been given? CD. CD. So that is a side length. We're not interested in the side length when we're calculating the area of a kite or a rhombus. We're interested in the diagonals. So area equals half times D1 times D2 which is half times 4.9 times 6.5 and there's our answer. This is our last example uh, BD let's have a look BD that looks right AC AC okay so these are the two correct measurements but we've got one in meters and one in millimeters. Now we could change them both to being in meters or both to being in millimeters but let's actually change them to both being in centimeters which is the measurement that's sort of between these two. So how many centimeters are there in 0.112 meters? We'll go hop hop and we've got 11.2 centimeters. 85 millimeters is the same as hop 8 0.5 centimeters. So you can see that this is a really good unit to work with because both of our measurements are not too big, not too small. So 
area equals half times D1 times D2, which is half times 11.2 times 8.5, giving us our final answer of 47.6. We've been working in centimetres and we've been working in two dimensions. So that's our final answer. Thanks for watching.